Would you like to test the effectiveness of a new drug? Would you like to compare different groups? For example, women and men? Who is better at math? Who earns more money? My name is Fabian Fröse and in this video and in a series of videos I will explain you how to compare groups or more specifically how to compare the mean values across different groups in a scientific way and what kind of statistical analysis uh, you could use uh, to test these uh, differences. Let me provide you an overview. When and how should we test difference between groups or variables? As a researcher, we start with a research problem or research question. Men or women? Who are better at math? Then you would look into the existing literature. Then if you find a lot of research on the topic, maybe this example sounds pretty obvious, then maybe the conclusion would be no need for another study, because we already know the answer. But it's a different question, it's the effectiveness of a new drug. We would like to test it. We test a group who receives a drug and a group who receives only a placebo, that's a no drug. And then we would formulate the hypothesis that this new drug is effective in treating against the disease. And then we can formulate that hypothesis and test it, yeah, test it between different groups. In this video, I will briefly in introduce the typical and most common statistical analysis to compare uh, means across different groups. I will talk about t-test, ANOVA, ANCOVA, MANOVA and MANCOVA. Let me begin with an example. Which do you like more? Cats or dogs? I think that is a very important question to many people I know. That can be also a scientific question. And comparing two different groups, such as dogs and cats, would be a typical example for a t-test. Now let us enter another group. Many people like dogs, cats, but also many people like horses. So we would like to compare several groups, not just two, it could be three, four, five, and so forth. That would be a very typical example for ANOVA, where you would like to compare the means across several groups. We just talked about the case where you can compare several groups, such as dogs, cats, and horses. In addition, you cannot only compare different groups, but you can also compare different outcomes. Think of this example of these animals. Uh, how loyal are cats, dogs and horses and how many accidents yeah, are these animals involved in. So we have different groups and we can have also several outcomes. That cannot be tested with t-test or ANOVA, but what we could do is then to run a MANOVA. Reality can be even more complex. Let's add more complexity to this model. So we already had the previous case where we compared several groups and look at several outcome variables. Now we can also think of several additional co controls or confounding variables or also covariates. Now you can imagine this, these animals, they have different degrees of loyalty and number of accidents, but that may also depend on other factors, such as how much do you care, how much time do you spend with your pet, how often uh, do you accompany uh, the animal and so forth and that has uh, most likely a strong effect on loyalty or maybe also number of accidents. And MANCOVA allows us to com consider uh, these uh, additional covariates. So far I've provided different examples uh, for these different tests. Let me try to summarize now these different tests and how they can be distinguished and maybe I'll serve also for you as a guideline which tests should you use if you would like to compare different groups. T-test. For a T-test, you can only compare two different groups and usually only one outcome at the same time. You can run multiple T-tests with different outcomes but not simultaneously. You cannot add covariates in a typical T-test. In ANOVA, in contrast to a T-test, you can compare multiple groups. It can be two, three, four, five, uh, and even more different groups. In an ANCOVA, yeah, so ANOVA is an analysis of variance, ANCOVA is the analysis of covariance, 
you can, uh, in addition to comparing different groups, you can now add covariates, yeah, such as control variables. That could explain uh, and control certain confounding factors and give you more robust results. In MANOVA, multivariate analysis of variance, you can, as in ANOVA, compare multiple groups. In contrast to an ANOVA, you can simultaneously analyze numerous, several outcome variables. But you cannot include covariates, yeah? additional control variables uh, or other variables uh, as predictors. If you would like to do that, then you would run a MANCOVA. Yeah, this is a very powerful statistical analysis where you can compare multiple groups, multiple outcomes and also uh, consider multiple covariates. We've already even reached the end of the video. Let me conclude. So in this video I talked and introduced different methods to compare groups. From the simplest way such as t-test where you only compare two groups without any uh, confounding variables up to MANCOVA where you can include uh, several uh, groups and several outcome variables and consider confound, confounding variables. In research, it is rather unusual to use these very simple uh, group comparisons such as t-test or ANOVA, yet they still serve very important functions to understand the data, maybe to go into more depth. And then if you want to test hypotheses, if possible, I would always recommend to consider confounding variables. That would mean you would run ANCOVA or MANCOVA. I wish you good luck and success with your research projects. Bye-bye.